Hi! Um, so in a few weeks I'm going to be doing some headshots for one of my friends or try and just help her out. And I need a solid white background. I have a muselin, muselin, whatever, however you pronounce that, uh, background, which it, it's okay, but it's always wrinkled. It's kind of a pain in the butt to uh, work with. It's not quite uh, opaque, it's semi-transparent, so it's kind of annoying. So I went online and I was buying a new background and I ordered some like white seamless paper, but I also saw from Cowboy Studios a um, vinyl uh, white background. So that's what I got today in the mail and I'm going to try and set that up right now. And then I'll take a couple test shots and kind of see what that looks like. Alright, let's uh, start setting that up. I'll move you around. Okay, let's start setting up the background stands. So here we are with a vinyl white background standing about 8 feet tall. So let's set up some lights and see if we can get a uh, white background. Alright, bye. So here are two test shots that I took with the uh, vinyl background. Um, I was just firing one speed light at it at about a quarter power. It turned it mostly white. I should have uh, used more light, but it was a self-portrait. It was really difficult to do that when you're shooting at yourself. If this was a real model, I would have moved the light probably behind their head. <clears throat> so it would have illuminated it better. Um, but still, there's not that much light bouncing off of this background. I was about five feet away from it. And you can see the edges are pretty defined. There's no uh, like massive white spill coming off. So of it. here's a second image that I shot. Um, I modified this one slightly in Lightroom. I made the background a little bit wider with an adjustment brush. Um, but here is before the adjustment brush, here is after. It still looks pretty good. Um, there's no like major spillage of the background reflection reflecting back onto me. Um, just looking at the picture, nice and sharp autofocus. So anyway, as soon as I get my white seamless paper, I will try and compare the two to give you a better idea. Alright, hope this helps. Bye.